I'm Emily Ann Tushik, and this is Consider It Mapped. This month, we're continuing to look at rates of free and reduced price lunch, or FRL, across the state. This measure has long been used as a proxy for school and LEA level need, and the introduction of the new Community Eligibility Provision, or CEP, will change the way that this is measured across districts. Our first map shows the FRL during the 2013-14 school year right before the CEP was introduced. The second map shows the 2014-15 school year and reflects the introduction of the CEP into some or all of the schools in 57 LEAs. The accompanying table shows percentages of students eligible for free and or reduced price meals over time as well as the percentage of schools that have opted into the CEP program in the first year by LEA. One of the major takeaways is that in many cases, higher percentages of schools opting into the CEP leads to more students eligible for supplemented meals. There are also many cases in which the percentage of students in need under CEP is on par with the percentage of students in need before the provision was introduced. This likely means that the CEP system, using direct certification, is a relatively good substitute for application-based FRL, though this is the first year it's piloted in the state and it may benefit from a few tweaks. This information is important to consider for those who use FRL as a proxy for need. For instance, is it more appropriate to use a combination of FRL and CEP values or direct certification measures detailed further in the article that accompanies this video to approximate school and LEA level need. For parents, this information is important because FRL impacts the services each school receives. We hope that these maps will help contribute to a rich discussion about the use of this measure and its implications across the state. Have something you'd like to add? Visit us on ednc.org.